Uh, it's the realization during the pandemic. You know, during the pandemic, I, my Facebook page received in the span of about seven months 20,000 legal questions from ordinary people. And when we went over all the questions and answered most of them, we realized that people are not empowered when it comes to the law. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of things that we can do without getting a lawyer, but we just don't know that uh, it's possible. And when we realized that, we said there must be ways we can use social media to make people understand that they have the power to change mm -hmm. their legal, to solve their legal problems. That day that um, uh, Senator, former Senator Laila Delima made that announcement, we were trying to chase her, but who we got to interview that night was uh, former Congressman Teddy Bagilat also. And we were asking him, like, what do you think are the plans? And he just actually mentioned that, you know, Attorney Jokno has been doing really well on social media. Because we yeah, were saying, million, parang, no? parang kulang yung, uh, ano, di ba? Kulang yung one point. 2 million TikTok oh, followers. followers. Uh -huh. um, was this a conscious effort? or I think it's a combination of all of that, plus the realization that we are the social media capital of the world. According to some of the studies I've seen, Filipinos go online 10 to 11 hours a day, and half of that time we spend on social media. So if we want to reach our people, that is a very convenient and easy way to reach them. The, the challenge there is the content. Mm. How do you mm -hmm. simplify something as abstract as mm -hmm. the law? Mm -hmm. And that's a challenge that all lawyers face. Uh, you know. It's a fascinating journey. It, it has taught me so much about how to communicate online, the kind of language that uh, you need to use, the expressions even that you have on TikTok, and at, and at the same time, being authentic and remaining true to yourself and to your values. To me, that's really where you have to learn how to navigate. Mm. You said you keep getting questions on Facebook about uh, <laughs> legal issues. What are some of the questions that keep coming up? Like the number mm. one. Number one, I think, are birth certificates. Mm. So many so of our, our brothers and sisters have a, a mistake in their birth certificate. And so many don't know that they don't need a lawyer in order to, to correct it. I'm not saying all, but most mm. of those corrections can be done mm. administratively. Mm -hmm. 